Hey everybody, B Maldonado here, and here's the inside of our Ansel panel. You can see there's a couple BFDs right here. Those are controlled by that logic board. Different things going on. This is where we land to. Right here. Try to get it and get something. Anyways, that's where you bring in your, uh, you hook up your supply and your exhaust fans. You got line, you got load, and it, sells, it tells you on there, EXH2, SUP6, uh, connectors are labeled, pretty simple, easy to hook up. You've got some connections in here. You're going to hook up to H1 and N1 with your main power feeding the panel. And you can see the N1s, uh, you can't really read, this camera's not that great. But um, the neutrals are those three jumpered sections at the top. So all the neutrals bond together, so it doesn't really matter where you land your neutrals at all. Um, You've got, down at the bottom right there, the brown and red wire, that's C1 and AR1. And that's what you're going to run through all your micro switches. Each one of these Ansel systems has one of those contacts. These are your output sides here. Let's see what we got. Um, SF1, that's our... Uh, supply fan or, or makeup air unit connection. It's the second contact on there. Um, underneath that there's ST and gas. You're going to want to connect your shunt trips to your ST and your gas valve to your gas. Now this isn't the main unit so this isn't really the one I'm going to be hooking my shunt trip or my gas valve to. Um, and I've explained how the makeup air unit works in another video. Um, I've got another video that shows the, uh, the panel with the shunt trip breakers in it um, and how to connect those. I just didn't want to have to walk all the way over there and get all the way back. Now you can see over here this system's been set off. Earlier there was some data guys that were in here working and installing a TV, it's an instructional monitor, um, and you can see, yeah, you see that cable right there, it's got that red cable coming out of the top of it, it hooks right there to the, to the system, there's another one over there from the pull station, the cable that connects into it, the cable got pulled, this system got set off, fire alarm went, it wasn't good. You can see right here, um, up top right there, you've got four micro switches. And one of those is for the fire alarm system to connect to. And the other three, well, you, we've got one micro switch per Ansel hood. And they're going around and um, you pretty much pass through all three micro switches. I've got you see my, I use black, red, and brown wire to run my circuit through. Um, that way I coated them, you know, got a red hood, a black hood, and a brown hood. This is a brown hood, it's actually in the other room. I'm not trying to be racist or anything. Um, but, uh, so, you basically an in and an out, through the micro switch. And they're normally open and normally closed is actually backwards from it. It was so confusing the whole way through it because one person's saying one thing, one person's saying another thing. You can look on the side of the micro switch and there's a schematic that is opposite of that schematic right there. Because in their mind, normal condition is when this thing is armed and cocked. Well, it's not really a normal position because the spring's compressed and it's 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 having uh, tension put on it a, a normal position would be completely relaxed state so 
they've got their idea of normally backwards. But because they're fire alarm guys, they're not um, electricians or whatnot. So, anyways, um, it's pretty simple, you know. You just bring your uh, your line side into here. Now, this is another thing we ran into. We were told that you have to bring your lines and your loads through separate conduits. We ran ours through the same conduits, and they said, well, it should be fine, probably won't be a problem. If there is a problem, just run another flex down and run it up through the other conduit. So, anyways, kind of pretty simple, you know. Make your ground connections here at the terminal block. There's another ground connection at the bottom right down there that you can use. Just want to make sure all that stuff's connected together, working the way it's supposed to. And you probably need to use a wire nut to connect more grounds if you don't, if you can't. So. Anyways, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. But with these, um, with the C1 and the AR1, it's actually supplying power and the whole time this machine is on you want it to be making contact at the micro switches so that there is power going between these two contacts right here and it goes through the micro switches of every Ansel system and comes back here so that every single one of them will know what's going on and every single one of them will um, turn on its uh, exhaust fan and and turn off its uh, makeup air unit. And then, it's pretty much the cut and dry of it all. Now you wouldn't need to make that loop if you're only running, say, one system. You would just run from your micro switch over here through the flex, and you would hook it straight up to C1 and AR1. And um, there's a temperature sensor in there that connects into this board too. And, you can see your Cat5 connection right there, one on the left. That's ours. I made that end right there. I'm really good at making those. And then it comes over here to an LCD screen. Ha ha ha, it's saying there's a fire. That's because my uh, cable got pulled. And someone hasn't come back here to reset that mechanism. Apparently you need a special tool and I don't have one. So. Anyways, um, that's it. It's Captain Bear Ansel system. Thanks for watching. If this found this informative, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you much. Have a good one.